<laughs> and it's a wonderful. I love the gospel. I love the simplicity that's in Jesus Christ where you don't have to be some super spiritual nutcase. You can just be a normal individual with just common sense and say, hey, I'm sick, I need healing. Jesus is a healer, thanks very much. I'm coming to him. Glory to God and receive your healing. Go home, be well and live for him. And just proclaim his name. Amen? People say, explain it. I can't. Like the blind man. Whoa, once I was sick. Now I'm not. You explain that. Rawr, 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 rawr. Well, that's the truth. <laughs> that's why I love him. It's so simple. All you need is a meeting with the Savior. You don't need doctrine. You don't need understanding. You need him. And let him doctor you. Let him deal with you. Amen? Glory to God. I went a long way around saying what I was saying, really. I could have said it shorter. Like, it doesn't matter what you think, what you believe. Just come and God will do it now. But I felt you needed an explanation. All right? Need healing? God will do it. Why? Because he loves you. And he won't do it for any reason. And he won't do it because you've done anything. He'll just do it because in his mercy and grace 2,000 years ago on Calvary Tree he died and he wants to heal you because he loves you. And he wants you to know he loves you and this is a token of his love. He's going to heal you. Amen. When people ask you an explanation, tell them you haven't got one. Say, all I know is, I was sick. Jesus healed me. That's good enough. And then say, if you're sick, come and get healed too. Now they might get angry with you and say, oh, we, 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 we follow Moses. We follow the Pope. We follow this, we follow that. You say, well, that might all very well, but the Pope didn't heal me. Jesus did. Amen. I always remember seeing these, these wheelchair cases when a Pope visited England. He went and he, he laid hands on these poor people in wheelchairs and blessed them. Made a sign of a cross over them and sprinkled holy water on them and didn't give them a towel. And there they sat in their wheelchair. They didn't get up. I thought if Jesus had been there, <laughs> he'd have got them out of the chair. If we're going to be the minister of Jesus Christ, that's what we want, isn't it? Amen? Glory to God. I love him. It's good to be able to laugh at religion. And to be able to thank God for the reality of Jesus Christ. What do you need tonight? Whatever you need is a saviour who's well able to meet the need. Depends how far you've come. Sometimes God will do a miracle and instantaneously someone will be perfectly whole. Other times he'll heal step by step. I've seen him do it both ways. Doesn't matter to me, but he'll do it all the same. He'll meet you because he loves you. And that's the whole end of it. He loves you. He died for you on Calvary's tree. He rose again victorious over all the foes. And he wants to meet every need in your life. He wants to break the chains of fear, the mental torments in your life. He wants to take them all away. How will he do it? Well, he'll just do it. I don't know how. How will he heal? I don't know, but I know he will. Because he's wonderful. His name is Jesus. Amen. He loves you. Turn to the person next to you and just say, Jesus loves you. Go on, tell him. He does. And because he loves you, he'll heal you. Go on, tell him. And that's the only reason. It's the only reason. 
I don't know how, but he will. Amen? Let's stand. Father, I just pray for everyone here right now. Lord, that by your Spirit, you'll let them see there's only one healer. That's you, Lord Jesus. You're the divine physician. And Lord, I pray that your power and your life will begin to flow and your grace and your love will flow to everyone here this night. Lord, thank you that you are our Savior. We don't understand how. We just understand you are. We understand you laid down your life for us and you rose again. We don't know how. We know you did. And Lord, we just come to you with a basis of simplicity. Believe in you. Lord, that you're the same. You never change. Lord, let that healing power begin to flow into each body, each life now. In Jesus' name. Now, if you want prayer, you just leave where you're sitting and where you're standing rather and just come up the front. We'll pray with you. If you put in a request for prayer, you come. And God will meet you. Come right up.